Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I am bringing you some breaking news from Connecticut and it's not really breaking. However, on August 19th, His Excellency Ned Lamont has put out an executive order that if you're an estate employee, you're going to be required to get the you know what, the jab. And if you don't get the jab, you're likely going to be out of a job. Putting on display exactly what I've been forecasting of creating more Americans to depend on the state and federal government, in this case, unemployment, because you're going to lose your job if you decide to stand your ground. Also, I'm going to put on display a high level sales tactic that you didn't even know you're being sold on and you're falling for. This tactic is being used by our government in this case, and we're falling for it. Before I get into the show, understand that I call Ned Lamont His Excellency because that's how he addresses his executive orders. Google it if you want to see it for yourself. Unfortunately, more dependency on the government is coming. I've been calling it. Plenty of people have been calling it. We are just being whittled away and squeezed until it ultimately happens to all of us. Now, before we get into the show, I ask you to help do your part. Hit the like button. That will get this show out to other people who are struggling or need to know what is going on in the state of Connecticut and their rights or lack thereof. So smash that like button, help this show get out to everybody else, and let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to read the announcement off of Governor Lamont's website word for word. Governor Lamont announces state employees, child care, and school staff will be required to get you-know-what for you-know-what. I can't say the exact words, and I think you guys know why. Governor Ned Lamont today announced that he has issued an executive order related to the emergency declarations, requiring that all Connecticut state employees and staff of all childcare facilities and pre-K schools statewide must have received at least one dose of the you-know-what by September 27, 2021. Those who do not get the you-know-what due to certain exemptions will be required to be tested for you-know-what on a weekly basis. However, state hospital and long-term care employees will not have the option of being tested in lieu of the situation. The state of Connecticut is working with state employee, employee unions to implement the requirement quickly and fairly. Being you know what against you know what is the most effective means of preventing infection and subsequent trans, transmission, Governor Lamont says. Our dedicated state employees must work together to ensure a safe work environment for one another and can do so by getting you know what. Those who are in healthcare settings where the risk of you know what in infection is high and the impact of the spread of the infection is dire to health and safety of their patients and residents have a responsibility to their parents, residents, and coworkers to get you know what. I have also emphasized for well over a year the importance of keeping our kids in the classroom full time and making sure it is as safe as an environment as possible for learning for everyone in the school building. Ensuring all of our educators, including early child, child educators and school staff are you know what, so they will keep students in the classroom and keep childcare open for families. Getting you know what keeps yourself safe keeps your community safe, and will help you beat back on the ongoing spread of you know what. Okay, so that's the statement off of Governor Lamont's website about his executive order that he put in place. Now, let's tie in some high-level sales for you guys. If you're not in sales, if you're new to sales, if you have no clue what's going on, I am explaining to you a very high level sales technique that is used by salesmen and women around the world, okay? And what I'm talking about 
and how you persuade and manipulate people into a sale is by telling the buyer that approaching the subject, in this case, getting the you know what, is going to help other people. For instance, if I were to say, hey, if you buy my course, so-and-so client, it's going to help all of your clients, your family, the people in your life, and it's going to make a huge effect on everyone that you come in contact with changing their life by the education that I can give you. Now, in all fairness, I've never said that and will never say that because I understand sales and psychology and I do not believe in manipulating into a sale. However, our government and many high-level salespeople do. So with that said, with that said, let's take a look at exactly what I'm talking about, how the government is pitching that you're helping other people, selling you that you're helping other people by getting the you know what. Being you know what is the most effective means of preventing infection and subsequent transmission, Governor Lamont said. Our dedicated state employees must work together to ensure a safe work environment for one another and can do so by getting the you-know-what. Those who work in healthcare setting where the risk of you-know-what is high and the impact of spread of the infection is dire to health and safety of their patients and residents. You have the responsibility to your parents, residents, co-workers to get the you-know-what. That, guys, is high-level sales on display, persuading you, manipulating you to think that you're doing something for other people to help them on a subject that is being articulated as health, getting a reactionary you know what, into your body, in this case forcefully, but smoothing it over with the sales. Even if you're not being forced in this case, you're being manipulated by sales strategies by our government to think you're helping other people for health. So let's also keep in mind that an executive order is not technically a law. And if you recall in 2020, most governors put out executive orders, including Ned Lamont, and he kept extending his executive orders because they expire. And what he did in 2020 is cripple the economy in Connecticut, primarily small business owners. And he's only going to continue to extend his executive orders, forcing people to get the you know exactly what. And if you don't, he's going to force your dependency on the state government, on in this case, in unemployment. And there's been talk of more things that are coming, like you can't get your Social Security, your Medicare, your Medicaid if you, are, if you do not get the you-know-what. There is more dependency coming from the government. There is more dependency from you to the government on a local and national level with the more of these things that are being rolled out, the more that they are taking away your ability to make a decision. I urge you, urge you to understand what is happening in front of you. And I urge you to stand your grounds. I urge you to speak out and be vocal about what is happening. Use your voice, use your social media, use whatever you can and stand your ground. All right, guys, listen, that's the show I got for you today. And the reason why I deliver you guys this type of show is because I care about you and I want you to understand what is going on in between the lines. You're not going to see this type of news, if you will, broadcasted on mainstream media or most social medias because it's not congruent to the to the situation that's going on. I deliver what's in between the lines in an enlightened perspective because I want you to understand, fundamentally speaking, 
the plan that is in place on a grand scale, I urge you to stand your ground. I urge you to put aside your differences. I urge you to be a good human. I urge you to use your voice. I urge you to, if you feel a certain way, to speak up, all right? And the best way that you can help is by using your socials and using your voice. Another way that you can help is smash that like button, tell YouTube to get this out to more people that need to hear it. I rely on you guys to help me get this out. Hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing if you like this show. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I really do. Stay healthy. I'll catch you next time.